only according to Lou. Today's rant is going to be about boundaries in a relationship. Every healthy relationship should have boundaries. You should already know each or discuss each other's dislikes, limit their likes, you know, things that they, they'll allow and stuff. Um, every partner should know the other person's boundaries and limits. You're sitting there's so much social media, texting, emailing. If you're texting, emailing, or on social media and your partner is around and they stop and then they stare at your screen while you're texting somebody and they're reading it. Hold on. I'm not quite sure where I left off. I think it was when you email and you text and you're doing like social media, Facebook, be it whatever. If you're sitting there and that person stops what they're doing and reads all your texts, reads what you're sending your friends and your emails, goes on Facebook and looks up your friends list. Not, I think everybody looks at everyone else's Facebook friends, but when you do it on a daily basis to see if your partner has added somebody it's there's boundaries there there's limits of trust you have to trust your partner you don't need to know what they're saying to their mom or their dad because they, they talk to their family now when I when I'm talking about this I'm not labeling or saying that anybody in my life per se is doing this it's just something I've observed in a relationship. If, if your other partner, whether it be boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, doesn't respect you, then you need to move on. Or you could discuss a system that works for you both and go from there. You have to have trust and you have to be honest. If you're going to discuss with your partner, they, they're excited and they tell you something that really excites them. Like, I get excited over the stupidest little things. If, if your other partner's saying that it's stupid, that you should be more productive with your time or do better hobbies, you know, something better with your time, what they're saying is that you're not worth it. What you're doing is stupid. Why are you doing it? You should be doing something better. It's a flat out disrespect to that person. They're saying that you don't matter. Because you're not making money. It's just something you enjoy. And why do that? But then they, then, then they will ask you later if you're okay. Why don't you just be happy? Thank you. For dumbing me down and then trying to build me back up. Again, I'm not speaking personally. I keep losing my thought. The, the whole point of this rant was just to respect your partner's likes, dislikes, and accept it. Respect it. Listen to their boundaries. Everybody has them, know yours, and find out your partner's boundaries and what works for you too. Don't go out of your way to invade their privacy. It's almost like reading someone's diary. That's a flat out invasion of privacy. It's never okay, never okay to invade someone's bound, push their limits. Trust your partner. If you can't trust them, and you can't work out a system, then you don't need to be in the relationship. Only according to Lou. Now, if you're not sure what it looks like for someone to invade your privacy, it looks kind of like this. Only this would be like over your shoulder, looking at your 
texts and your emails and your social blah blah Facebook. That's what it looks like. What are you doing? Why would you say that? Who who is that? Who are you who are you texting? Why would you say that to them? It's kinda what it looks like. If you find that you're doing that to your partner, please stop. It's not cool. At all.